Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking, so let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an update of all the trees and plants in my yard. So let's get started. I have another papaya plant growing in this pot, along with another Dorset apple, so that held up pretty good. This winter was really bad, it got really cold, and you can see how much damage it did. I mean, everything is basically dead here. So I cut out what I thought was never going to come back. I also weeded. Even the Christmas poinsettia died. I doubt that'll come back. You can see what happened to the cactus, the aloe, and there's the Christmas cactus back there. A lot of that died off. I cut back on the trumpet plant because it was all dead and mushy. The green onions are growing good though. Those are the ones that I cut off and replanted. And this is a set of leeks that I bought. I cut them off and planted them back in. So they're growing pretty good. My oregano, it survived the winter. Never froze, nothing. You can see how good it's growing. The grapes will come back, but right now, they're still dormant. I mean, look at this cactus. The cold was terrible this year. You can see my blueberry bushes, how many blueberries are going to be blooming on it. This is the most I've seen. Raspberries are doing good. They'll, they'll come back. But you can see how much damage was done back here with the frost. I have my neighbor who just started up his lawnmower. I put some dirt down because the land was kind of low right here, so I wanted to build it up a little bit because it would always flood right in this corner. This trumpet plant too died. Well, the, I shouldn't say died. The frost got it and kind of killed it, so I cut it off where it was soft and mushy, but you can see way down on the bottom where it's starting to come back in. Burn pile, that's my papaya plant. That got wiped out over the winter. And I looked it up online and they don't come back once the frost gets it. You can see the lantana is starting to come in down there have some green. And my lime tree got wiped out. It doesn't look like it's going to come back. So I went and bought an orange tree. I'll take the lime tree out and place the orange tree in. You can see the loquats really doing good. That survived the cold. All the lemongrass that I had all along the edge here, forget it, the frost got that too. So I pulled it all out because it was like all brown and dead looking. This looks like it may come back. This is part of the Dorset apple tree that I was going to throw away. So if it don't, I'll just plant something else there. Wiped out quite a bit here. You can see this trumpet plant. I cut that down, but it's coming back. All you have to do is just cut off the mushy, soft part of the branches. My banana plant's coming along. You can see this tall one almost looks like it's dead, but little shoots are coming off of it, so I'm leaving it. Another trumpet plant. More lantana. You can see a little green right here for the trumpet plant. But the frost really did a number on all my plants and trees in the yard. 
You can see another trumpet plant right there. All the sounds of summer, people are clearing off their debris from the storms and the frost, trying to cut off everything that's dead. Remember how nice and big this trumpet plant was? It's coming back. You can see little green right on the bottom. But all the Christmas poinsettias died. They got wiped out. Look at this cactus. And then you can see that one. It was just too cold for too long. And I couldn't cover up all the plants. Another trumpet plant right here. The hydrangeas are coming in. And this is a ruby red grapefruit tree that I planted last year. This is where the uh, Dorset apple tree was. So this held out over the winter, which I was surprised. You can see all the new shoots coming up. And this is the Macintosh apple tree. I'll wait and see if it's going to come back because these kind of look like new shoots. If not, I'll have to dig it up and plant another one. And this is the plum tree. The Meyer lemon. You can see all new shoots on here, so this survived the winter. The yuzu tree survived the winter. You can see there's one on the ground right there. And this trumpet plant, you can see it's starting to come in right over there, the green. Hopefully this one will start. And I did have a tangerine tree right here. The frost really got at that, so I just went and picked up another one. You can see all the buds on it. So hopefully I'll have some tangerines this summer. But the frost really got this tree. That's why I had to uproot it and go turn it in and get another one. Because they warranty it for one year. See right there. And I got it in October. And I just returned it a week ago. And we're in February. This is where the uh, papaya tree was. But the frost really killed that. I did put a loquat there, but I think I'm going to pull that one out and I'll put this lime tree here because my lime tree is not growing in the back. So I picked up this lime tree. It's a key lime. So I'll place that over here. But this uzu tree is really doing good. Made a lot of jelly. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching the update of all the trees and plants in my yard. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.